This video will cover the diagnostic criteria for kyphoscoliotic EDS, a subtype of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. KEDS is incredibly rare, with a currently unknown prevalence dot. We are going to review the new 2017 diagnostic criteria for Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. The formal evaluation and genetic testing are required for a diagnosis which include major and minor criteria. Skin biopsy is mentioned below, but is rarely used as it can only rule out other types of EDS. There is a urine test specific to this subtype of EDS as it can detect an enzyme deficiency present in KEDS. Major criteria include Hypermobility Dislocations Severe congenital muscle hypotonia, Delayed motor development and Kyphoscoliosis, which is the presence of kyphosis and scoliosis. These are spine abnormalities which can be seen in the photo on the right. Muscle hypotonia is decreased muscle tone. Hypermobility is evaluated by the Beaton scale which will be discussed in another video. It is essentially having pathogenic flexibility of the joints, allowing them to have a higher than normal range of motion. Minor criteria include Abnormal wound healing Scleral fragility Unusually small corneas Congenital clubfoot Osteopenia which is low bone density and Hyperextensible, fragile skin that bruises easily The sclera is the part of the eye that is white and the cornea is the outer layer of the eye The final minor criteria include Marfanoid habitus which consists of long limbs, arachnodactyly, and pectus excavatum or carinatum. Arachnodactyly is long, slender fingers. Pectus carinatum is a protruding chest as seen on the right image, and pectus excavatum is a sunken chest. Finally, cardiovascular abnormalities such as fragile arteries, mitral valve prolapse, and aortic root dilatation may be present in KEDS patients. KEDS is inherited in an autosomal recessive pattern meaning a child needs both genes to get KEDS. Therefore, with two carrier parents there is a 25% chance of parsing on KEDS. There are two gene mutations that can lead to KEDS. PLOD1 is a gene that gives the body instructions to make an enzyme that helps process molecules that allow collagen to interact with other collagen. Mutations reduce the levels of this enzyme, which disrupts collagen networks throughout the body. Symptoms related to this mutation include skin fragility, widened atrophic scars, ocular fragility, microcornea, and facial dysmorphology. The FKB14 P gene encodes a protein that is part of the FK506 binding protein family of peptidyl perlyl CIS trans isomerases. This protein is found in the endoplasmic reticulum lumen, where it is thought to accelerate protein folding. Symptoms related to a mutation in this gene include congenital hearing impairment, follicular hypercritosis, muscle atrophy, and bladder diverticular. This is the end of the diagnostic criteria for KEDS, please click the like and subscribe button if you'd like to learn more about Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and other rare conditions. You can also follow me on Instagram for more regular posts at chronic.care. Thanks for watching. Stay rare.